about the plating process, an aspect that I always, uh, an aspect An aspect that I always mention is uh, what's, in your opinion, the most important part of the plating process of uh, of this plate, for example, the Iberian pork. What's the, as a cook, as a student and as a cook, in your opinion, what's the most important part when it comes to plate this, this uh, preparation, the Iberian pork meat? Hygienic, for hygienic. Hi. Hygienic. Mm -hmm. it's, it's it's a point. Should be look beautiful. Look beautiful. It's important. It's okay. very important. Because it's the first sense that we get activated when the plate comes yes. to the table is the sight. Okay. Mm -hmm. Should look beautiful. And then what's the most important part or important points when it comes to plate? The taste. Yes, yes. It's really, uh, I always say the same. Uh, your plate could be wonderful, could be spectacular, could be appealing. You could make you take your mobile phone, take a photo and upload it to Instagram and it's a marketing source. But mm -hmm. if you eat a bit of, of the meat and it's not tasty and it's cold, no. you say, okay, it's beautiful, it's great, but it's cold. And it's not tasty. Okay, so uh, think about all of the senses mm. uh, that take part in a, a lunch experience. Not only the sight, but also the the taste, the flavor, the temperature. Okay, mm. the, with the what this meat? If you don't eat it hot, it's like you are eating raw meat. Mm. Okay, so it's important to take into account all of the of the aspects related to to the to your experience, okay? Yeah. It's a looking and uh, the taste is, is uh, connecting each other. That food looking and the taste, they are connecting each other. Yes, yes they are. Yes they are. And are all of them are very important because uh, uh, sometimes uh, it happens to me in, in, in our school, eh, when I am uh, plating with my students, we, are, we have a restaurant, a fine dining restaurant, and um, plating process, depending on what you are plating, has to be a quite quick process. If the food goes hot, uh, you have a, 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 peer, a, a time to plate it because otherwise it will go cold. And sometimes we, um, it's like a very careful plating, very slowly with that. And when plate is going to go to the dining room, I tell them, uh, please, just with this part, touch the, the steak. And the steak is cold. And mm -hmm. it, it's, it's not valuable. You have to reheat it or you have to repeat, okay? So it's to take into account all of the, of the aspects. Okay. Well, we have been spoken about, speaking about knife skills. Okay, you have different materials. Okay, different cooking techniques. And food presentations. Okay, that I would like to uh, connect into what we have been speaking. Uh, food presentations is some uh, you have here PowerPoint or about food presentation and plating. Sorry, and it's just uh, what aims what we are looking for when we are plating something. We are looking for. Uh, good looking, good appearance. We have been speaking about that. Okay, is the first sense activated before eating the food, so it's important. It has to look uh, good. Your plating skills could be a marketing tool. Okay, when a customer uh, takes the the mobile phone and uh, takes a photo of your plate, you are selling your product all over the world. Okay, 
Then the temperature and taste. Okay, we have been speaking about that now. Appearance is not enough if the food is not tasty and it is not at correct temperature. And then uh, you will have to take into account the whole experience. Okay, so the customer's experience varies depending on the presentation. Three questions. Who plates? The cook plates, the waiter can plate, or the customer can plate. Okay, so this is the experience, the whole experience is different depending on who's plating. Okay. When the cook plates, uh, the tendency, the current tendency is this one. Eh? The cook is the one who plates, okay? It's the most most widespread tendency, okay? The most of the plates, uh, the dishes or the meals are plated in the kitchen. So uh, the, the presentations are uh, more artistic because you have a, a specific place to do it and the waiters carry the plate to the customer Okay, bring the plate to the customer and explain the concept and the ingredients of the plate. Okay, that's the first option. The second option is the waiter or waitress place, uh, plates. So to do this, the waiter or waitress have to be uh, very skillful. Okay, because you are plating in front of the, of the customer. Okay, before of the customer. So this is important, uh, the skills of the waiter or waitress, but the experience is improved. OK, for a, as a customer, if you get your in a plate, your meal plated in front of you, the experience is a lot better. And this tendency was typical, is typical at classic restaurants and also uh, in banquets. OK, it's quite uh, typical. Uh, the meals be to be plated in front of you. And the other option is the customer serve themselves. OK, so there are some uh, preparations that are quite suitable for that. OK, it's a more social way. Nowadays, this trend or this uh, tendency is not so widespread because of the uh, COVID, but it's a more social way Okay, it's, uh, to enjoy the meal with your friends, with your family. OK, to eat together and, for example, a fondue or some grills or a sukiyaki. OK, so it's it's another experience. It's a different experience. And uh, you can include here free buffets as well, where you plate. But free buffets uh, tend to be more uh, impersonal. OK. So in our country, in. In our country, it's very typical when the waiter uh, plates in front of you. It's very typical. It's very typical to plate uh, big pieces of fish. Okay, the the waiters uh, portion and plate the big pieces of fish uh, for the whole table in front of you, and it's quite uh, I don't know, quite appealing, quite interesting. Okay, this is different trends, and. Uh, the remaining part that I would like to show you is the preservations part. Okay, how to preserve your food. <clears throat> okay. Food presentation, no, 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 no. Ah, sorry. Mm. Okay, knife skills. Here it is. Okay. I would like to mention preservation stuff because it's it's important, okay? In this uh, material, you can find this, what appears in the task, okay? Different types of food preservation methods. 
and that's the the PowerPoint, okay, the material provided to search that. Preserving preserving food. Uh, preser preservation methods have been applied since ancient times. This is the truth, okay, and there are some key elements to make possible or avoid bacteria growth. Could be acidity, using pH or using acidity, could be the most popular nowadays, temperature, could be drying food, or could be fermenting food. Uh, modifying pH is just to uh, introduce the food in a acid uh, environment to avoid the uh, growth of bacteria and the most typical examples are pickles or marinades okay you also you can modify the temperature and to combine this with the ox the oxygen or the absence of oxygen okay so you have canned food where there uh, two both uh, preservation methods are combined the oxygen the temperature and the absence of oxygen okay so this is tomato sauce canned and tuna albacore first boiled and then preserved in uh, oil and canned okay and also you can uh, modify the temperature by frozen or freezing the in at this case the fish what's that what kind of fish appears in the in the picture look like tuna look like tuna to me yes yes they are they are tuna they are frozen the picture it comes from the i think it's the tokyo market okay and they are testing the the different tunas and they are frozen do you know what temperature are they frozen at what temperature i don't know uh, we regularly we uh, freeze the fish or different uh, meals at uh, minus 18 degrees under zero but uh, japanese uh, freeze the tuna at minus 60 okay is the the best temperature for tuna because of the fat uh, amount of the tuna is the the temperature where tuna is preserved better okay minus 60 yeah a specific freezer for that purpose okay so uh, the control of the temperature is the most uh, uh, the best tool we have to control or to preserve different uh, ingredients okay And then we have drying food, which is really, really, really a uh, very ancient way to preserve food. OK, so we can dry food uh, just uh, hang, hanging outside the food and uh, leaving to dry. But the most typical way to dry food uh, we have uh, done since ancient times is dry it with using salt or using sugar okay both ingredients both elements make the same effect effect okay make the food to get drier in spain is very 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 typical the ham okay they first uh, cover the ham with uh, with salt and then we remove the salt and they hang it on the 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 pork uh, legs to uh, make them dry okay using salt also we do it with fish okay very typical with fish and we use sugar to make uh, different uh, jams uh, whatever okay so drying food is to avoid the growth of bacteria by using by removing the water because bacteria need water to to grow okay to spread out okay also in the previous uh, picture by modifying temperature we can uh, kill the bacteria especially we can kill the bacteria with uh, 
with uh, the heat, okay? Is there any any hazard when it comes to, to freeze fish that we have to take into account? Do you know any? What? Any hazard related to fish? That uh, we, uh, when you are going to eat fi uh, raw fish or just marinated fish, is any uh, danger or hazard that you have to take into account for fish eh, specifically? Salmonella. Salmonella could be one, but the not In so. The chicken. Yeah, salmonella is a chicken. Yes. In fish, do, do you know the anisakis? In sushi, no. I don't know because in uh, there is some kind of bacteria. Yes. I mean, in raw fish, there has some bacteria, which one maybe make your tummy upset. Yes, anisakis is, is a worm. It's a it's a worm that appears in anchovies, in tuna also, yeah. in hake, and uh, anisakis is, is a worm that could be killed by freezing it, but you have to freeze it at least at minus 18 for 48 hours, okay? And then you kill the, the worm, okay? And also you can kill it by uh, heating it, but to kill the anisakis, you need to heat it at least at uh, 60, 65 degrees, which could be, uh, uh, could damage the fish. If you overcook the fish, yes, you kill the anisakis, but you, uh, the fish is, uh, is not uh, proper to, to eat it. Okay, so it's very common to freeze it to avoid this, uh, this worm. Okay, it ap appears on the, in the goods of the fish. Okay, so when you are going to prepare fish, or you, sorry, uh, sushi or sashimi, or you are going to marinate a, a fish, you need to uh, freeze it beforehand, okay, to avoid those dangers. Okay, the, this is an option. The other option is to buy uh, frozen fish, okay, which is not the, uh, at the best quality comparing with fresh fish, but uh, you can avoid uh, the, this danger using using this, okay. So those are uh, different preservation methods. and salt, uh, drying, and then we have fermenting, okay? We can ferment different kind of ingredients, okay? For example, uh, shukrut, for example, miso, okay? Or kimchi, which are, uh, it's a way to preserve uh, those ingredients and also they have, uh, they are very beneficial uh, healthy speaking, speaking about health, they are very beneficial, okay? Because they have a lot of probiotics, okay? They are quite trendy, this kind of food, fermented food, okay? It's really, really uh, interesting uh, products. And those are, among others, the uh, different parts or different ways to preserve uh, ingredients. But for in this material, in my opinion, the most, the, the key part of preserving food is this part, K elements, okay? All of the, all of the preserving processes, okay, go for one of those aspects, temperature or acidity, drying food or fermenting, okay? Okay, how are you doing? Any question? Any something to 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 mention? Uh, yeah, can I ask something? Yes. Yeah. Oh, uh, please. Regarding on the cooking techniques, because except uh, we all know Subide, you need some special equipment to do it, right? Okay. But what if you're cooking at home and you wanted you wanted to cook? You want to practice the subi day, so any alternatives for it, and how how could you do it 
at home. Yes, of course. I will tell you. Uh, to to cook sous vide, you need uh, first you need a vacuum packaging device. Okay, and uh, wait for a minute, and I will show you a very very cheap one, very cheap one, and you can get good results with that. Wait a minute. Yeah. Okay, can you see it? Yep, yep. It's a flat device. It's, uh, it's it's not too big. Okay, you open the device that way. You can introduce the bag here, and you can seal everything under vacuum. The bag comes with the device, and this device costs. I think it was including the bags was like forty euros or something like that. Okay, it's not uh, excessively expensive. Okay. And I bought it in a supermarket, and it works. I have uh, done uh, should be cook processes with that. That's the first part, okay? The first part is to seal it under vacuum, and it's available, eh? okay? It's, it's it's affordable, economically speaking. The other, George. sorry, George, yeah. you can have it yes. from Plus Olson, George. It doesn't cost. Okay. Much. It's the same, like thirty euros maybe from Plus Olson. Yeah. Easy. Yeah. It, okay, I can look at it. And it works properly. And the other part is the cooking process. The cooking process uh, for big productions, we use steam ovens. Okay, and I think that I, I know that uh, they are not affordable to uh, to do it at home because they are very very expensive. Okay. But for small productions, we use sous vide devices that are uh, not very expensive i don't know how uh, how much ca could they cost but it's like a, a tube that you introduce in a, in a pot with hot water and they control the temperature and they move the water okay and the cost i think it was like 100 euros could be something like that okay so you can buy them from uh, online from amazon or whatever and they are not excessively expensive so with both devices the vacuum sealer and the and the tube to to heat the water and to move it you can uh, experience a sous vide sous vide cooking process okay just to to try at home okay so it's it's i think it's affordable i have the machine here i can show it to you Thank you, thank you very much. This is for G and form. It's really easy to use. Okay. Keep the temperature as you want. Thank you very much. Okay. Hey, Sami, don't you have to take a look at the video and take a look at What? Uh, social media presentation that I'll take the photo of you two and uh, Suvi that you are talking about now. Okay. Thank you. Kiitos. Uh, can I ask again? Okay. So, uh, in in the thing link that we prepared, we have extra materials. Okay, about uh different uh, more material apart from uh, we have uh, presented or i have presented in in this uh, session okay and uh, i think uh, just uh, to mention or if you have something else to to ask or something any other question to to mention i will it will be a pleasure to to answer you and sigrid is going to to say something to you, Sigrid.
Yes, found my microphone. Thank you, Yosu. I am putting in the chat the links to the feedback questionnaires. We have a very big, big request. Please fill these in. It will take, even though there are two links, it will take actually very little time. Um, I will post them in the Facebook as well, but we thought to to get really you to uh, to tell us uh, how this is going. Uh, we are we are doing this at the end of the uh, the learning session today. So really, really appreciate all of your feedback and thank you to Yosu. It has been very interesting. Uh, and and to the to the students who are I feel are getting more comfortable asking questions. So it's it's very good. Thank you. Thank you. I have shout. I have shouted too much. No, no, no. Because uh, yeah. can I ask one more thing? Is it okay? <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, as uh, Siri has said, please uh, feel the the feedback and uh, feel free to your opinions. <laughs> are very are very helpful for us. Um, whether you have enjoyed the session or not, or about materials, about everything. OK, so I will uh, thank a lot your opinions, OK, because uh, they will help us a lot to, to improve our, our job. OK, uh, I have been uh, reading your your experiences, your blogs, OK, and they are really, really nice to read. Uh, George, yours has been very, really funny. I have uh, watched uh, Omnia video the battered fish, the the menu, the video is, is great and the menu looks, looks really, really great. The the blueberry chocolate cake, uh, the, the, those, uh, the gyozas, it's really the, the mixture of, of Asian techniques and, and Finnish cooking culture is really, really appealing. OK, the Tartu menu draft is really, uh, really appealing, the different uh, ingredients and uh, it's in uh, looking forward to to see the, the how the the menu goes okay and uh, George Marianne Aileen your menu I I I'm sure will be really great as well if you need any advice or any any help I have uh, in the chat I have put my uh, on my mail uh, address if you might want to to write something, and also uh, in your blogs you have your different uh, uh, modules, the five modules. Please uh, write in your uh, hmm? in your uh, in your uh, blogs too. whether you have uh, what me. you have uh, <laughs> learned about the modules. Okay, I will show the the learning outcomes that appear in in the page in the project page web page okay here it is okay so about uh, knife skills mission plus skills nature present cooking and past different methods to prepare components okay you have extra material that i haven't shown you in the web page and if you need something else you can uh, write me or you can email me okay just the last part there is a part in 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 the uh, contents of the module that we haven't told about that and you i would like you to to share your experience because you have i know you have different origins you have you come from different countries and uh, i would like you to uh, explain how is uh, is going uh, the group working skills okay how do you uh, manage with uh, your uh, differences your different uh, origins your your group working how is going ah uh, it's good actually uh, now the time because uh, we are trying to because we are mixed up our uh, idea so what what we gonna do 
uh, next next week or next time in our practice, we are both uh, practice our, our own uh, recipe. Like I should know my partner recipe and my partner should know my recipe. So it is more easier to when we, uh, when we are doing work, it doesn't bother. Like if I am not managing, he, she can do. And when she not managing, I can do. So this is actually the uh, group work to make easy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. And if you have a near your uh, menu to prepare, could be a good idea also to to divide the tasks, no? to share the tasks. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you can... Uh, if you divide the tasks, you will uh, cope with the whole project. Okay. Sometimes in a group with all of the members do everything. Sometimes there are some parts of the project that uh, are alone, are not uh, covered by anyone. No, no, not not like that. We are doing our menu by ourselves. But that important is we should know each other menu, like what she making and what I making. If we mm -hmm. have knowledge, then it's not bother. Like if it is rush hour, if it is like what you before say, like what is bothering, like if it is rush hour, then we don't have like, we don't get panic if we know each other menu. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. We are on processing. <laughs> so far, okay. we don't have any problem, but uh, you know, we, we get start last week and you see a video, so we haven't get into uh we get some idea but that's the reason why we don't have uh, our menu ready yet because uh, we are on process because uh, me and my partner we have a uh, different idea and then we try to get and merge together so i'm excited coming next then we we already decide last week what menu we will make uh, but we don't have actually picture and the menu and the postcard not yet so we are on on processing. Okay. Oh, I eager to 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 watch it. And uh, oh, it's normal. You have different ideas, different origins. As we say here, uh, we go when we go to a group, we go with our own backpack. Okay, our own <laughs> background, cultural background, personal background. Yes, exactly. It's, it's about to put in common everything. Okay, to yeah. to yeah. go ahead, but. Uh, it's it's amazing and uh, it's a pity because uh, my students can't uh, they uh, prepared uh, the videos we were preparing videos and materials but uh, currently they are doing job internship they are not uh, anymore at the school they are in different restaurants and hotels okay and they cannot uh, take part in the pop-up event but I think I think the activity is really exciting and it's enriching and I'm sure you are going to do it great. Sure. Okay. Thank you. But uh, if you want any help, you can uh, ask me and it will be a pleasure to, to help you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Have you enjoyed? Have been heavy the, the, the session? Long, tiring, boring? <laughs> Yeah, it is not boring actually, but now the time because Corona, everything is closed. Maybe we sometimes feel we need coffee or something or something, but we didn't get it. So that, that's why it's a little bit. No, I'm. I don't want to say boring, but yes, it's something. <laughs> A bit long. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so, exactly. Okay. I'm. So. I'm not mad to hear you shouting. Actually, I can't like it. <laughs> no, you are not shouting. Your voice is loud. We can no, say like he that. said he said that he's shouting. <laughs> <laughs> he said himself. Okay, my wife told me that you are shouting. <laughs> you are shouting, and they are they are going to hear you from Finland without any kind of device. Yeah. <laughs> no, but in my opinion, shouting is a little bit some other meaning. But you are uh, uh, talking loudly. It's yeah. better to hear. No problem. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. All chef talks loud. It's like the common thing to do. Yes. Yes. I enjoy it. It's I enjoy true. it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <It's> true. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 
It's been in my, uh, for my part, my my uh, feedback has been a pleasure to to share this time with you. It's really exciting activity for me as well to prepare this and to is the curiosity. The is a challenge for me because uh, we don't get accustomed uh, uh, to to teach by uh, speaking to a screen. It's it's different. It's it's a bit up, but it's it's a challenge for me. It's been really a pleasure. Okay, and thank you very much. Uh, for attending uh, this this lesson, for your uh, feedback, for your attention, and uh, good luck. And I hope you will do really, really great uh, pop-up event. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Josu. I would have one uh, more question for all of you guys because this is now the last session. So. Any of you who could put your mic, uh, not mic, the camera on, please do so. We don't have camera in Omnia. <laughs> okay. But yeah. as many as, as, as you can. Janne, perhaps? Any others? Wait, I'll make it a little bit bigger screen and then I take the photo. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, but we don't have camera here. You should be putting in the here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, some some bit? No? Uh, Mirana and I, we forgot to put the camera. Right now, we don't have. Last week, every time we, we have, but today we forgot. Sorry, Antex. Okay. Um, wait. Mika, mulla on kysymys sulle, kun sä oot siellä, pystytkö sä ottaa semmoinen overall-kuvaan? Koska tota, niin mulla vaihtuu nää koko aika. Done. Okay, awesome. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> okay, bye bye. Thank you very much. Thank Thanks. you. Thanks Thanks bye, bye bye. Thank you, Mika. Bye. Thanks. Thank you, Ona and Sigrid and everyone, Marcus. <laughs>